Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 11 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. When you create a Christmas Village, one of the biggest challenges you have to face is to be as close as possible to reality or try to simulate it to the best of your abilities. At least in my twisted mind, because I'm already hearing all the comments from those who just prefer to have fun to be once again carefree as children and put plenty of gingerbread figurines all over the place. No, thank you. I don't think that is the best representation of a Christmas village. And yes, I realize that buildings and figurines aren't at the same scale for definition and that is far from being realistic. But it has always been done on a purpose to have a better depth of view between buildings and figurines. Is it realistic to have snow in a Christmas village? Yes, it is. Is it realistic to have trees? Yes, for the second time. Is it realistic to have stairs and bridges? Yes, if you want to have them. Is it realistic to have a train? Yes, it is. Is it realistic to have tracks for the train? Obviously, yes. Is it realistic to have tracks without the ballast? No. I will need to add it if I want to continue closing more of the landmarks I told you about in my last video. All along the past 10 parts of this series, I've said many times the word ballast. Let's try to give a sense to it. When you are dealing with the train modeling, all your tracks are pre-constructed. You just need to lay down some straight and curved tracks to get the perfect layout. But in reality, train tracks need to be constructed. And from where do we start? We start from the ballast. The ballast is some sort of uh, bed that we place on top of the ground. It is composed by small rocks in reality. After you have your uh, ballast laid down, then you will need to align all the sleepers one beside the other. Once you have all the sleepers aligned, you can finally place the rails on top of the sleepers. And this will be how to build a train track. Okay, that said, the secret word has finally been explained. Uh, let's get a look to what I will use to lay down the ballast. Obviously, you can't avoid the ballast itself. I generally use this type of limestone ballast having particles between 0.5 and 1 millimeters and its color is between beige, brown, gray and a little bit of black. When I firstly started ballasting my trucks I used a plastic glass. Uh, I poured the ballast into the glass then lay down the ballast on the trucks using this movement. But I wasn't satisfied with the result because it was very irregular, uh, not uh, quite symmetrical. Then a couple of years ago I found online this little tool. Don't worry, I will put some link down below. It is very useful. You just need to place it on the tracks and it has uh, some uh, marks here in order to get it uh, perfectly uh, aligned with the tracks. Once you have uh, your tool on the tracks, you just uh, need to pour the ballast into this tool, then slide the tool all along the uh, track and you will get a precise amount of uh, ballast all along the tracks and also a very regular. Next step, the final step, uh, will be using some water in a uh, plastic glass or so, but water itself won't be useful. I will pour on the water a good amount of uh, uh, vanillic glue. This time I will use normal vanillic glue, not water-resistant glue. I pour on into the water a 
good amount of uh, uh, vinylic glue. Then I will uh, mix it uh, carefully and I will use it uh, uh, on top of the ballast to uh, get it uh, glued onto the uh, ground, onto the uh, styrofoam panels uh, and also to the trucks themselves. Okay, now let's go for it. Maybe I will add uh, some more uh, later. Why using this mix of uh, water and glue? Simply because when you lay down your ballast, uh, it's nothing else than some sort of dirt. And every little movement will scatter the ballast all over the place, even just with the movement of the train rolling on the tracks. The ballast needs to be fixed, needs to be glued to the track, if you want to maintain a perfect regularity of the ballast itself. And that's all I think. Yes, I've explained to you everything. Uh, let me just place the camera in a fixed position in order uh, to let you uh, watch it uh, correctly. And then I will start ballasting the tracks. <laughs> just need uh, to wait for the mix to dry. You may have certainly noticed that I've uh, poured uh, the mix uh, essentially in the central section here, where I have the rails that helps the ballast not to scatter everywhere. Uh, pouring the uh, mix even on the side, you will risk the fluid effect. All the ballast will be washed out by the pouring of the mix and you need to avoid it. Uh, pouring it uh, on the central section it will also affect the sides of the tracks due to a gravity effect. Thank you Newton. Now I will continue ballasting only the visible sections of the tracks. Generally I don't ballast under uh, tunnels, under galleries and uh, wherever the tracks are covered or hided by something else. It's just a matter of not wasting ballast in points where no one will see it. It's a long process. I surely don't want you to get bored, so I will complete it on my own. Then I will have a little update uh, showing you the final result uh, of a properly done ballasting. See you in a few... No, 
not in a few, in a very long time. Voila, it took me around a couple of hours and three bags of 250 grams of ballast to complete the task. I generally don't use ballast on bridges because uh, trucks are sustained by woods, uh, concrete, steel or whatever is needed and they don't uh, generally lay down simply on uh, the ground. Uh, let's have a quick uh, tour around. Here we go. That's the first uh, curve here and you can see that the ballast is well glued on the tracks and the ground because even if I am uh, scrubbing my uh, fingers around uh, the ballast uh, isn't scattered anymore so here we go here is the result with the first uh, curve under the, uh, the, the gallery, the tunnel here under the natural uh, gallery and also on next level here we go same thing, same type of result with the ballast that is well glued on the track. And by the way, I let the glue dry for uh, at least five hours. Okay, I don't think it is a bad result. Uh, let's go and have a check from the other side. All right, here we go, here we have the ballast and uh, I've uh, discontinued the ballast in this point because I'm already under uh, the gallery so I don't want to waste uh, ballast. Then it starts again uh, just before the gallery end and it goes up uh, to the corner. Here we go. And I've uh, also added the ballast on one last uh, segment of tracks, uh, just uh, down there. Uh, there, uh, it's the the only uh, segment of tracks uh, visible from the back, uh, just uh, behind the curved section of the uh, river. And uh, I know the layout is a little bit messy right now but I just wanted to show you uh, the result uh, uh, as I let uh, it dry uh, when I've uh, finished uh, all the tasks. Now I can finally end some of the uh, landmarks and uh, I will start by completing uh, that section with the, the ballast uh, already dried under the gallery. Let's go.
down If you don't take notice and come around If you walk right past me One more time like you don't see What's yours for the taking tonight? section yes let's say it's done even if I still have to add some green some mask here and there but it's only question of uh, details uh, all the section is done and by the way don't worry about the, the pins that you see in there and on the walls and everywhere I pin the, 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 um, the paper to the styrofoam because they will disappear sometimes ahead when I start painting all the pins uh, accordingly to the color of the paper and also don't worry about those gaps there because they will disappear so once uh, I uh, lay down all the snow but as I told you before it will be the last task I will face I just hope that the camera was uh, in a good enough position to let you uh, see correctly what I was uh, doing 
if not my bad and I apologize for it. Let's have a quick close up. Here we go. This section there is done like this and uh, the inside of the canyon because you haven't seen it when I was doing it right there. I just added some uh, rock paper down there in the hole because I don't want any white to be seen but this section uh, will not be seen from the outside I think and the other wall too it's already done. All the pins as I just say will be painted and also the remaining uh, section of the support is still uh, greyish or uh, beige or white whatever you want to call it will be painted in just a few uh, days. Okay, uh, that's it. I still have to complete this part, but it will be done lately uh, with uh, just some other paper here and there. Uh, okay, let me just check, as always, how long this video is uh, before uh, deciding if uh, I need to go ahead with some more uh, landmarks. I have uncommon standards and it disturbs me quite a lot when a video turns out not too short and not too long, neither fish nor fall. I get the feeling to have forgot something, to have done some sort of betrayal against you and to have delivered a video completely devoid of interest. <laughs> Should I start looking for a good therapist? Anyway, at least this time, and I think it will be the only time, with a track ballast, you have seen a task started and completed quickly. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and, if you wish, see you next time.